Next approach is to disrupt the game. Understand the rules well enough so that you can challenge the system. Now, Prince was a fellow prodigy. In fact, I think he learned about 30 or so instruments. The rumor is, is that in his first couple of albums, he actually played all the instruments, but used overdubbing. He was also an artist coming up in the 70s. And if you were around in the 70s and you wanted a major commercial hit, or if you even want to get on the radio, you had to go through a major label. The independent outlets weren't happening as they are now with Apple Music and Spotify and all these different things. The internet wasn't even around yet. So he ended up signing a deal with Warner Brothers. The funny thing is that if he was around today, he probably would have produced things himself. But he was at a period of time where that didn't quite make sense for the directions he wanted to go in, financially or otherwise. Now, this seemed like a good decision at the time. But then he started to chafe under the, the corporation known as Warner Brothers. The first problem was that he was extremely prolific. If you're in a traditional system, there's only so much music or content you can put out. I understand that from the publishing, book publishing industry. And so there's going to be limitations as far as how quickly you can get things out because there needs to be a marketing campaign. They need to make sure that the money is right. They need to do the research and development, audience testing, advertising, all those different things that big corporations do. The second part of it, which is even more concerning, is that they actually didn't allow him to have ownership of the things he created. In other words, he didn't own his masters, which is intellectual property. So if someone wanted to use his song in a commercial or if someone wanted to do something else with his song, then he didn't have the permission or even have to be notified that those things were happening because he didn't own that. And then Purple Rain happened. But when he started getting big with the album Controversy and then had another breakthrough with 1999, but particularly when he hit with Purple Rain, having the number one movie and the number one album at the exact same time, I think he was the first person to do that, then suddenly he realized the numbers weren't adding up. He didn't have as much control over his brand as he thought. So he did two really smart moves to get out of that situation and to prosper from it. The first move he did was that he made his feud or issue with Warner Brothers public. He said, listen, they're not allowing me to release this beautiful music that I created for y'all because they don't want me to put out so much music. They're not allowing me to own the things that I created for y'all that I did with my own little hands. And by making it public, then he got the public on his side as far as his audience, but he also was able to inform artists like myself as far as the issues with these contracts. That also put Warner Brothers on the spot because then the audience and the artists became more mad at them 